Oh my goodness, that would have been so embarrassing. So, moving on. <laughs> oh I love it. <laughs> and welcome back to Mel's Wine Life, the YouTube channel all about blindness and welcome to another guide dog related orientation and mobility video. We've got a special one here today. We have a really special guest and her furry eyes, my friend Ash, who is the bass player from the Basic Black Trio mm -hmm. uh, and her guide dog, Quinny are here and we are going to do a really fun video together so thanks Ash for coming and joining us here on Mel's Blind Life. Firstly can you tell us a tiny bit about Basic Black please? We're um, a trio obviously and um, we have two guitars. Um, Charlene is the lead singer and she plays guitar. Jody um, and I sing harmonies. Um, Jody sings and plays guitar and I play my bass and we do basically um, we're suited for say wineries and we do layback um, music with real complex harmonies from the 60s to the 90s. So I will link Basic Black in the description down below so you guys can go check that out. But the reason for our video today is we've also got Quinny here. Hi, Quinny. Hi. And we're going to do the guide dog tag asking Ash questions about Quinny and any other guide dogs that she's had in her life. So are you ready to go? Yep. Okay. Let's start off with something that we've already answered basically. Question one is, what is your guide dog's name? <laughs> well, his name is Quinny. <laughs> Okay, that's very difficult to answer <laughs> to children. <laughs> yes. So question two is, what is the breed of your guide dog? He is a yellow Labrador. Mm -hmm. Question three says, how old is your guide dog? Uh, he's six this year. And where was your guide dog trained? At Seeing Eye Dogs Australia in Kensington. Mm -hmm. And when did you qualify with your guide dog? April 2016. So question six, is he or she your first guide dog? No, Quinny is actually my second guide dog. I had my first one when I left school in 2008 and I had her for five years um, and I stopped working with her in 2012 so five years inclusive and I got Quinny in 2016. Hmm. So question seven says summarize your guide dog's personality in five words. He is very quiet He's good company. He is unobtrusive. He's very adaptable and has an amazing memory. So what is the best thing about your guide dog, Quinny? Well, it's kind of hard to say one thing, but the best things that I like is that he is very easy to take out. Um, He's a great worker, but he's also happy to sit, like I'd said previously, and be unobtrusive, but is ready off the mark straight away. Mm. So question nine says, what is the funniest thing your guide dog has ever done? And you can answer that for either of your dogs. Well, it kind of made me panic when it happened at the time, 
but Quinny was following my partner Pete around in Aldi and Quinny is awesome at following but one particular time he found it rather a good idea to suddenly divert into the back where the storage areas are and Pete was looking everywhere for us and I didn't even realize that we had strayed in there until everything suddenly went quiet <laughs> and it took Pete a good five minutes to find us again so question 10 has your guide dog ever got you into any embarrassing situations my current one hasn't Quinny obviously but my previous dog Nita um, we were in a shopping plaza in Rosebud and I was with my mum at the time and there was a demonstration going on with guide dog puppies in training and one this one time the person on the PA system said oh and here's a guide dog in action right here and right at that very very moment when he had spotted her even though I'd taken her to the toilet before going into the plaza, she decided to drop a great big code brown on the plaza floor. Oh my goodness, that would have been so embarrassing. So, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 11. What is your guide dog like? on harness he is absolutely unbelievable he's amazing as i said earlier he has a memory like a gps you program a route a mobility route into his mind and he can even do the reverse even after doing it once he's just absolutely fantastic and the other good thing about his work he is awesome at finding seats or finding um landmarks um but he also does it very gently so there's no he's mr precautious basically mm. so question 12 what are some of your guide dogs quirks um basically he likes to groan at inopportune times um he's extremely vocal and he... We know all about that one, don't we, Pen? <laughs> and anyone who he meets, he instantly wants his belly rubbed by them, no matter how strange they are. He blows his legs up in the air and just wants his belly rubbed. <laughs> <laughs> we know all about that one, don't we, Das? <laughs> Question 13. Where does your guide dog seem to do some of its best work? Um... Predominantly in built up areas, he absolutely loves shopping malls only without escalators and on actual made and sealed footpaths, he's best at finding definitive landmarks. Question 14 says, what is your guide dog's favourite thing to do while off harness? He likes to lie around a lot, particularly in front of the fire. Well, I don't blame him there. I mean, look at it. So the final question, number 15, says, has your guide dog ever done anything that goes above the call of duty? Well, I can't think of anything as yet with Quinny, but my previous dog, Whenever she knew that I was in any kind of pain, she would run up to me and sit by my side as if to say, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? And lean against me and do anything that she could to make sure that I was okay. She was a very sweet girl. So that is really the end of the guide dog tag. Thank you so much for coming, Ash and Quinny, and for being so good and answering some really difficult questions, really. Oh, we we really appreciate the opportunity to participate. Thank you, Mel. Don't we, Quinny? Hey. So.
please remember to go check out Basic Black linked in the description down below. They are an awesome trio. They do some really great stuff. Also, please remember to follow me and the puppies on uh, Instagram or Facebook. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Mel's Blind Life and click the bell notifications to get notified when I upload more videos all about blindness. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.